What's going on you guys? Nintendo Mania here. Welcome back to the channel. This is just going to be a quick little video showcasing some of the toys I've got recently in a lot. I bought it from a guy across the country here in Canada and he shipped them over to me. So it's pretty cool to get some of these things. There's lots of Burger King and McDonald's toys here. You can see some of the uh, ones from the 80s, I believe 1989. They released some like this, like the Goomba. He's a pretty awesome little guy there in pretty good shape and then uh lots of pokemon stuff the older mario and luigi ones uh this raichu here is missing his tail but one cool thing is he used to light up his cheeks used to light up with the switch back here but once the batteries go dead in these i'm pretty sure you're screwed so don't think i can change those out yeah lots of pokemon like i said down here we have a couple plushies that were from Burger King. We got Poliwhirl and uh, Pikachu and some pins that also came with. This is pretty cool right here. These are some lenticular cards. Uh, I might do a short on these specifically, but as you can see, it shows the evolutions of these Pokemon. There's four cards in here in this little binder type thing you can pull them out but interesting piece there next i just want to show you guys some of these figures i got this is diddy kong and i believe this is actually from a diddy kong racing uh set that you can get with the cart he's missing his tail which is unfortunate because i don't think i'll ever find that on its own but overall he cleaned up really well I actually cleaned these up this morning using some baking soda and water. So that worked very well. Here we have Funky Kong, and he cleaned up amazingly well. His chest was all scuffed up with different colors, and his face had a bunch of different colors on it, just from over the years of rubbing against other figures, probably in a big box. But he turned out really great. And this one and the Diddy Kong one are from 1999. Interestingly enough, the Diddy Kong one right here is actually made by Marvel, Marvel Entertainment, and this one is Toy Sight. This is definitely my favorite uh, figure out of the whole lot, I'm sure, of that. He's just really cool. He's missing his skateboard or surfboard or whatever he did come with back in the day, though. Next, we got probably, I would say, the most valuable figure in the lot. This is, I think this is also Marvel, but I've read... Elsewhere, yeah, it says Marvel 2000 right there, but I've read elsewhere that this is made by Toy Biz. Now, I'm not a big toy guy, so I'm not sure if Marvel and Toy Biz are the same thing or if it's a branch of Marvel or whatever, but this Wario was a Mario Kart 64 toy who also came with a cart, but unfortunately, he did not come with it. For me, it's just the figure, but he's in really great shape overall. Uh, definitely another favorite of mine. He's worth quite a bit of money, which is cool. I guess I'm not going to sell this. I have them here for my own collection. I'm not getting rid of these. These are just very cool figures. I also got a few plushes here. I got this Sackboy plush. He's really, really good quality. Uh, where is the uh, tag here? 2010. Not sure on that brand, but it's a very good quality figure. I don't know if it's official or not, because it doesn't say PlayStation anywhere on it, but very cool, high quality plush. Two more plushes to go. I got a Wario plush. He's got beans in him, so he'll sit nice on a shelf. Got to clean this one up a bit. It's a little dirty, so I'll probably wash him, hand wash him, and see how that turns out. I'm kind of scared to to be honest, but <laughs> I think it'll be worth it because his gloves are a little brown. I believe this was an N64 era one. The tag is cut off, so I'm not 100% sure on that. But from what I can see on eBay, he was he's probably 20 plus years old by now. But really good shape overall. And the last plush I'm going to show you is a Final Fantasy IX plush. Now, I've never played Final Fantasy. I'm not sure. Well, I know the character's name now after some research, but 
not exactly sure what he is. He's a mage, that's all I know. And his name is Vivi or Vivi. There's a bunch of different ways to say it, apparently. This specific one with the felt feet and hands is apparently from some kind of subscriber giveaway. Was it some kind of online subscription you did back in the day to that game and they mailed this out to you? So he's fairly uncommon, this one, which I knew nothing about it when I picked this lot up. But I'll definitely keep him. He's a really cool looking little character. Kind of has me interested in looking into Final Fantasy IX now, but really like him. He's very well made, honestly. These are all pretty well made. But yeah, those are just some of the highlights from my uh, toy pickup I got. I was going to do a full unboxing. I filmed it and everything, but I didn't do my research before it. So I honestly felt really stupid <laughs> and, uh, talking about the stuff as I was unboxing it. So yeah, I did some research on this stuff beforehand, uh, before this video, I should say. And yeah, just decided to show you guys in this quick one. I also got some other stuff that is threw in a box here because I don't know where I want to put it. There's this Tails uh, Burger King toy. This figure from a movie called Congo. I had no idea what this was, but one of my friends knew instantly. So yeah, I did not know that. And then there's just a bunch of random stuff in here. Just, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to keep all this. Some random Sanrio stuff. Uh, broken Pokemon. Whoops. Lots of Final Fantasy stuff. So this person obviously enjoyed Final Fantasy. Um, I don't know anything about it, as I said. This is a Street Fighter pop figure, but still I don't really know. A bunch of other Final Fantasy stuff. Is this also <laughs> something to do with that? I have no idea. Let me know. This Mario 35th or 30th anniversary figure. It's an amiibo, actually. It's the modern coloring of uh, classic 8-bit Mario. I also got the three pieces to the Mr. Game & Watch amiibo, but no actual base. So there's the three pieces here. But yeah, I just thought I'd throw this into the video because I forgot about it. And remember to like, subscribe as well. We're almost at 200 subscribers again, which is awesome. And definitely comment down below, what is your favorite item that I picked up? Talk to you in the next one, guys. Bye-bye.